Hey guys, this is a quick uh, walkthrough for GMs for the new farm. Just to show you really quickly, you've got an upstairs version or uh, upstairs area, you've got a downstairs area, and then you've got basements as well. This is, uh, I'll walk you through the, the elements in, uh, included in the free version, and then I'll talk about the stuff that's available in the premium version. First of all, you're looking at, uh, most of this is really all available in the free version. I did bring some of my modular basements across. First of all, your modules involved, you're going to have uh, FX Master, that's what's creating the cloud effects rolling by. Um, you'll also notice that there are ambient sounds available, it's sort of an incoming but not here yet thunderstorm, kind of creates a nice environment. Uh, other modules are the multi-level token module, and it's really key in this map. It's doing a couple of things, and you'll notice there's a bunch of these regions all around the map. These are invisible to your players, but they're helpful for you as the GM. So if we drop a player in here, you'll notice that player is projected over here. And why that's important is because if you have players that are standing in the upstairs room, they can see enemies, NPCs, and friends that are walking around downstairs. Um, another thing that's going on, there's a region here that's actually lifting players up to the height of 10 feet. Why that's also important is it allows players who are in this upstairs area to be able to view across, for example, these rows of corn, and they can see over things that normally they couldn't see over here. So for example, this player who's not at 10 feet their vision is blocked by the corn. So you can hide NPCs and other things out there and they won't be able to see it. It's also doing uh, teleportation. So if I go down to the staircase, it will automatically send my player to the downstairs level. And likewise, they can transport down to the basement. This is basement number one. And then there's a second basement here as well. And it's in the uh, kitchen. This one you can hear some ambient noise and that's an automatic teleporter back. Some other things that you want to know is the same functionality is in the barn. I walk into the barn, I do have the roofs module activated so the roof will automatically disappear as you walk into the barn. There's actually two roofs in play. The second roof is up above. If you walk underneath it, it'll disappear. But if you walk under it, you will it will reveal this ladder. If you use it, it will transport you up to the top level. And there's a sleeping area in here um, in the lore for Fandolin. This is um, uh, which this map is integrated into, by the way. Um, when I say Fandolin in this release in my modules modular series, which is a premium module. Um, this is actually connected to the rest of the town of Fandolin. So you can, your players can teleport to and from this location using these teleporters and get to uh, other parts of the town. I'll show you really quick too. There is um, more roof functionality here. These trees will disappear when tokens are underneath them. And likewise, this outhouse here, which is functioning. It's even got a dripping sound in the outhouse itself. Uh, also works. So uh, maybe you'll hide an NPC there, that sort of thing. Um, but I'll just show you how the cornfield works as well. There's a macro that you have to import. And when you do that, it creates this rustling sound as your players navigate through this, this area here. It's using multi-level token to do it. So I'll show you, in case you ever want to disable it, this region here, it's not doing anything except calling out this macro trigger, leaves rustling. And so it's going to be looking for that. There's a leaves rustling and then there's a leaves rustling free version. And they're inside of the, mac uh, of the macro compendium. So if you search for your macros and you find Bailiwicky maps, for example, or the premium ones, you'll find leaves rustling free version. Just import that and it'll bring it into your macros in your world. You don't have to put it in your macro bar, it just has to live in your world somewhere. And then uh, as your players walk through the corn, it will create that effect. You'll notice that there are uh, special walls set up with these, these cornfields, blocks visibility, but not movement. Now something special that you'll notice here is there's two teleport regions, one at the top, one at the bottom. 
if your players walk into that teleport region, they will teleport to another area. So let me uh, take you to one of those right now. This player teleported into this screen. And they'll, for the players, it'll be automatic. There's actually quite a few farmland screens, and they're all linked with teleporters. And your players could, in fact, get lost, um, even though there's, there's nine. They all kind of, uh, m many of them loop back on each other. But there's a special route that they can take that will take them all the way to this screen here. And for your players, if they arrive in this screen and they continue to navigate around, they will eventually, hopefully, find their way here. Now, I have here um, a cave, and this cave is part of the modular system. So you could replace this cave entirely with an encounter here. You could put something else in this place, something magical. You could put a treasure here. I chose to put a cave here um, so that they can, you know, walk into that. It doesn't link to anywhere. You'd have to figure out where you want them to go to. But it's just an example of what you can do. Um, this whole cornfield is modular. So in my new release, you have modular crops, for example. And you can just uh, drop them in like tiles. They automatically come with the leaf rustling sound and the walls built in. But you can essentially create any type of um, farm setup that you want. This has a small clearing. You can create a very large clearing, for example, put trees in it. So you can really do a lot with the modular system. But again, this is part of the premium version of this of this particular map. Um, the last thing I'll show you is that the farm is available in a snowy version, which has everything covered in snow and can be a lot of fun for your players. There's no crops clearly at this time, but it's got weather and things like that slightly different um, uh, ambient noise. And then you've also got, you've got a fallow version as well, which uh, is still green, but it features no crops. So uh, hopefully you guys can have a lot of fun with this map. If you do the premium version, there's so much more extensibility that you can do with it. All of these buildings, for example, this barn and this farm can all be removed, swapped with different buildings, where these assets can be used in other places as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy it and um, yeah, let me know in the comments or on Discord um, how you, uh, if you have any fun adventures with it. Thanks.